Well, thank you for joining me, as always. It's me, Fly My Phantom. Um, Blitchy has finally given us live stream to Facebook through its app. Previously, you had to use the DJI Go app. Now you can now use uh, Litchi to do your live stream. And I tested it yesterday, and I must admit, the quality of the video was a lot better than through the DJI Go app. So I'm going to take you through setting it up and uh, using it. So first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and download Litchi. Make sure you've got the latest version. It has to be the latest version, or else it doesn't, uh, doesn't work in previous versions, because, well, it doesn't work because it's not there in the previous versions. Uh, so once it's downloaded off the App Store, uh, click on Open. Now I've got my app connected, I've got my quad connected to my TX, so it's all working as it should do. Uh, Litchi would like to send notifications and allow Litchi to access your location. Click on all those, click on that as well, that's notifications. That's the app set up. Uh, click on the little cross in the corner up here. You'll notice there's a few additionals to the new version, and I'll go through those later. Uh, mainly being cache videos and cache photos. This allows you to view your videos and your photos that you've taken, same as the DJI Go does, whether you want to use those entirely up to you. Uh, so, live streaming, dead easy, dead simple. Go up here to this little icon, which used to just be for uh, Litchi View. It's now split to have Facebook Live or Litchi View. Click on the Facebook Live, and it will take you to facebook.com. It wants you to log in. You can log in if you've got the app on your tablet, phone, you can log in with the app. If you've not got it installed, you can log in with your email address and password. I've got the app, so I'm just going to tap on that one and click on Open. And it will turn around and say to me that I have already authorised this because I've done this before. Okay, so click on Continue. And it'll take you back to the screen and it'll pop up a box that says describe your live video. Uh, second time lucky because I've just done this video and there was no sound when I did it the first time. So second time round, that's what we're doing. Uh, not the greatest view I must admit. Uh, click on the done in the corner and then you see it's set to public. You've got to make sure that's set to public. If you click on anything else, such as friends only me, then only your friends will see it, only you will see it. Or click on public to have everybody see it and then click on the go live and as you can see you are now going to be streaming live via Litch's app let like to access the microphone if you want to talk over the app that's fine you can change out the settings which I'll show you later you'll notice now a grey box has come up in the screen that is where comments from people who are watching the live stream will pop up a comment now I don't think I'm going to get any live stream views at the moment because um, people are probably having the tea right about now so I'll just see if I can get to the live stream from my phone and if I can get to it, I'll pop a comment on. Let's just pop down to there, go into my homepage for Facebook and there we go, test for video. There you go, testing, testing. No, it's not come up yet. Literally just say it will take about usual to a minute to actually notify people uh, that there are um, there's a live stream going on. It's not instantaneous. Not sure why that is. Uh, I took this out in the field yesterday, uh, tested it out in the field, worked absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. Uh, Phil Evans uh, popped up and said hello, uh, testing it before, Carl Briley, another chap that I know, he popped on to say hello. I'm not getting any views at the moment because I've not announced that I was going to be doing this. That's it, so all that happens then, you just need to click on the live button up here to cancel the live stream. And it comes up with uh, some options. You've got enable microphone, show comments or tag location. Uh, those are where you can turn those on and off if you want to. Really, they should come up first, not after you've done your live stream. I really will think you can change that. Um, and then click on end live. And off it goes. Live stream's ended. Job is done, finished. And then you can go on with your next one. That's it. Dead simple. So I'm going to now I'm, I'm going to start again. I'm now going to move on to the Android version. So bear with me while I get set up for the Android version. Okay, so let's move on to Android. And so once again, you'll need to go to the uh, Google Play Store to download it. Type in Litchi for Phantom 3, whatever you want to call it. Uh, tap on it and then click the install button. And then let it install. Okay, once it's installed, click on the open button. Now I haven't got the quad connected to this yet. I'm going to just run through the setup and then I'll kill the app and plug in the USB cable. Uh, allow to access the location, uh, access photos, media, uh, make and manage phone calls, quick chat with Litchi. This is not. This is something you have to do to allow the app to work correctly. 
Um, I'm using a tablet, so it's not going to be able to make any phone calls. Uh, record and take pictures and video, and obviously to record the audio. Uh, on the agreement box, click on I agree at the bottom. And then up here on this one, click on the don't show again message. Okay, once that's done, you need to kill the app. And then I need to connect it to the quad. Okay, so it pops up the box. Click on Litchi and just once. And then it will launch the Litchi screen for you. And now this is where I announce that there is a little bit of a problem with the Litchi version of Livestream. Yes, a small problem. Litchi are aware of it and are working on it. And the problem is when you tap on little box to say you want to do live, this box here says public. Even though it says public, it actually sets the video to private. Which means, unfortunately, at the moment, you cannot use live stream with Android until Litchi fix the problem that they've got. Uh, otherwise, it will work the same way as um, the iOS version. So we'll have to wait for that. So, yeah, uh, there's no point in going through this, the, the live system for this Android, but it does work the same once Litchi sorts it. I'm going to switch back now to the iOS version. So once again, bear with me while I just change things around. Okay, so you remember previously I showed you these options in the settings for uh, enable, uh, where's it gone? Cache videos and cache uh, photos. Uh, the reason for that is because once you have got that, you can simply click on the photo button. It will sync the photo and it will say, please like to access your photos, click OK. You can now see you've got a box here that says, oh, if you touch the screen, it goes off. You get an option to share the photo on Facebook. So simply click on the share button and Litchi will open up your Facebook page and you can type something there. Hello from home, like that. And you can also notice it's got a, a shot with Litchi hashtag. You can just click the cross to get rid of that one. Click on the post button and off it posts to your Facebook. So I'm not sure what the cache videos is. I think that's so you can play back uh, videos you may have taken uh, a lot more inside. This was more about Androids and the uh, iOS version of Facebook Live, which I think I've covered. So um, that's it. Uh, once Android fixes, once Litchi fixes the Android problem, uh, you'll be able to stream with it. In the meantime, it's just going to be us iOS users. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Ask people to subscribe. Make your comments. Uh, this was Fly My Fanson. Take care, safe flying, and I'll see you again really soon.